Hello, in this video we'll demonstrate how to send structured data through the port in SysML. Structured data is a message with the header, body and other properties. This video will be continuation of previous um, video which, will, um, which was discussing uh, in general methods how to send data through the port, through the signal or other methods as a valid properties and we'll use the method sending data through the sig as a signal. And if you know this method, it is kind of basic method, you can just skip this first video and just go to the structured video. This also uh, can be expanded to this video where we talk about how else to structure the data, not only in the way how you see in the simple way in this video, but also you can see here using um, action language helpers to construct the structured message. This is uh, quite easy actually here, you can find another method. And uh, this uh, sample was presented by the Brian Moberley, my colleague. So uh, he was uh, uh, okay to share it with you. So now let's go to the uh, sample. Here we see system with the subsystem A and B. Both of them, they have stat status uh, property, value property, which uh, uh, has the value of the status uh, um, here we see this is value type right it is structured value type it has properties it's message header bit count message body date time and then date it has again value type right which is custom value type which consists of date month year and then um, here with time he has 12 hours which uh, value type which is consists of the properties as hour minutes seconds milliseconds and then month uh, uh, here it has also value type enumerated list. So this is really deep uh, structured value type, which can be actually constructed with values during simulation and sent through the interface. And then we can read that. And we, because we send it as a signal, so we have here signal status message, which has this status property, which will get uh, this uh, message uh, as a type uh, value assigned during the simulation. So how that uh, simulation works here, you can see that um, we come here, we read um, self, which is actually we could skip, uh, then we uh, read structured features, uh, uh, status uh, message, uh, and then we input that into parameter of the signal. And then we send the signal via port P1, and that travels here to another part, and then we read that and then write to the status mess uh, property of the uh, part B, right? It's kind of a very simple way. And um, again, this part could be skipped at all here. We can just delete this one. This one is used here to, oh, to manually decide when to send the signal here in order not to automatically send the signal every time we enter something, you know, we just want to manually send. And then on top of that, we actually constructed user interface. This user interface is really smart. Uh, you can see here parts uh, A and B, that's okay. But also what we have here is that um, in uh, part uh, A, we have status uh, part as a group box which represent is represented by this value type value property so this is what we drag and dropped and then uh, the next level is the date and the next level is the month so this one follows this one date and month those uh, structures and that's how we can enter the values of the structured message without any constructions uh, like building this message complicated way, you know, we just enter the values and then those values goes to the signal parameter and then signal is sent through the port and then here we read it again through the user interface. So now let's see how that works. Let's simulate this user interface. Here, let's run it. Go back to the user interface here. And here I can enter values, enter message header. So for example, E1, whatever uh, bit here, yeah, my message. You see that uh, I get the value here as confirmation. Enter day of the month, let's say 20, year 79, and then uh, November. 
And now once I will send, click the send button, this, this will get the send uh, signal and then it will uh, add the values and it will send the signal and then we'll read the values and I will get those values here. So let's see that it's happening. And this goes here, see the message. Then we get results. And then here you have those results here. So if I change something, just need to click send. I will get this updated into this um, system B, as you can see here. The speed here is not uh, really limited by animation. You can just make it 100% uh, and turn off animation. So in that case, if you change something and click send, you see immediately updates. So for example, A1, send immediately updates my message to send immediately updates. So that's how we can, uh, one way we can send structured data and uh, actually model networks uh, and uh, read and uh, write the network uh, message data uh, at uh, nodes and uh, uh, update it and send uh, to the uh, network again. So thank you for your attention.